What's up guys, how are you all doing? Cosmic Carry here, bringing another World of Tanks video and today I should be showcasing gameplay in my brand new IS-6 Tier 8 Soviet Heavy Tank Premium. Uh, this tank is everything that you would expect from a Soviet Heavy, absolutely fantastic beast of a machine, very nice sloped angled armour and uh, a pretty decent gun to boot it's a 122 mil pretty much the same as the is the tier 7 uh soviet heavy equivalent of the of this tank and uh everything's pretty much the same pen 175 uh with the premium 217 not that much that much of an increase um damage 390 Aim time 3.4, accuracy 0.46, so it's a very bad day, you know, so it's only medium and uh, 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 close targets. Uh, any kind of like long range sniping, absolutely forget about it, unless you want to laugh at the side of your shell going all the way that way, <laughs> when you're aiming all the way this way. It does get a little bit of a buff when it comes to reload speed just ever so slightly compared to the is this gun but it's it's a very very decent machine absolutely and um, has a really good damage per minute and uh, i'm happy with that preferential matchmaking only goes up to uh, tier 9 and uh, one thing that is a negative you can see up on screen only 30 rounds and they're quite expensive as well so and uh, of course I mentioned earlier the, you know, the other negatives accuracy and aim time but you know you can add equipment to help all that apart from the accuracy of course which will always be terrible but you know close range medium range that's that's all you can do you know it's a brawling tank absolutely thick well armored um, uh, well angled uh, armor it's it's made for brawling I mean it is what it is it's 100% a Soviet tank 100% <clears throat> but I have to say you know I purchased a thing and I and I played in a thing and I think I spent about I think it was about a, a, at least a couple of hours and I put in at least 15 games and the interesting thing was even though I was I think I think uh, you know because I'm looking this up now every time I kind of roll out in a tank um, the unicorn level damage for this tank I think it's 2300 2400 uh, something like that and I was hitting those targets you know a few games I kind of missed that target but I was hit, hitting around you know two to two and a half you know something like that pretty consistently I would say but like I said you know there were a couple of games where nothing happened you know and that was down to the situations you know the, the battle that was occurring etc etc but um but uh, uh, in total i think it was 15 games 15 games and I, out of those 15 games i had two victories two two victories one victory two victory <laughs> one two that was it out of 15 games i had the win rate of uh, I can't remember, was it 12, 12, 12 and a half percent, something like that. Absolutely atrocious. And if you, it, I, I took a look at the defeat, and every single defeat, you know, I'm first or second, you know, and I'm hitting one and a half, 2K, 2.5K damage every single game. And I've come to realize, you know, I really have come to realize that it, it, it really doesn't matter, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Truth be told, it really that you know it's total. It's not just RNG with the shots, you know, with the Death Star, with the firing of the shots and the accuracy, and how much of a damage roll you get, but with the teams as well, you know, with the teams as well. How on earth can somebody have such bad luck? I haven't got a clue. You know, truth be told, I haven't got a clue. Because literally a day later, I purchased this Super Pershing, and it's like exactly the same thing. You know, I've, I've played 15 games, and I lose like two, three games. <laughs> you know, I had a, like a, almost 80% win rate in the Super Pershing, and I know they're two different tanks, and but they're not at the same time. I mean, they're, they're tier eight, they're premiums. They're, but how can that be? 
how on earth is that possible? And I'm really, you know, there's this being, there's losing games, and you criticise yourself and you say, oh, I should have done this, I should have done that. I would say in the i6 and the Super Pershing, I gave it my best. I gave it my all, 100%. And look what happens. You know, you roll the dice, and you know, I won two games in my i6. You roll the dice. And I lost two games out of 15 in my Super Pershing. And truth be told, you know, that's all that it is. There's some things you can do to help out the situation. Possibly maybe switching service. You know, you can have a look at the time that you're playing on. You know, if you're playing at midnight, there's a lot of tryhards, you know, playing at midnight. But this was in the middle of the day and, you know, there's nothing to explain it. Truth be told, it was, it was just luck. Good luck, bad luck you know and and that was it you know maybe i was a bit more active with my commands on the on the menu you know cover me follow me highlighting areas with the super pershing i don't know because lately i've been noticing you know i get recognized quite often and i kind of use that to my advantage you know i tell people follow me and the, i highlight a, a flank like let's go over here and People do follow me, you know, whether or not it, it, are they recognizing me, or, you know, kind of taking advantage of my quote unquote fame. I don't know. I haven't got a clue, but, you know, I do get recognized quite often. You know, people nudge me, shove me, you know, signal awesome, and which is cool. It's great. You know, it's tons of fun. It's really weird. You know, imagine being in a video game and you get recognized but it's a small world world of tanks especially on the european servers you constantly like recognize players oh i remember that guy and prokhorovka etc etc it's very cool but yeah i'm glad to say i have uh, played a, another additional 10 15 games in my i6 and the win rate has gone up you know currently it's at um like 46 percent something like that and it's gonna it's gonna keep going up but literally those first 10 15 games it is like you know face palm what the heck is going on i haven't got a clue i haven't got a clue it's it's literally you roll the dice bad luck good luck this that you know this is and the, don't get me wrong you know i have no complaints about this tank this is a fantastic tank it is a beast of a machine and i do consistently well in this thing absolutely love it you know straight off the bat i knew what i was gonna get you know i knew what i was expecting i did my research i read up on it i said okay big strong gun really bad accuracy terrible god awful aim time i've played the soviets you know i, I know what they're about absolutely 100 percent and uh, and there were no surprises to be had once i uh, you know purchased the thing and I rolled out on the battlefield and um, so it's in no way shape or form down to the tank and and I can't blame teammates or players and this and that and you know people always say you know why why am I why is the opposing team always winning you know well, what's going on there's something wrong matchmaking this that but when you're on the winning team all the time you're not complaining then but anyhow, anyhow, little rant there. IS6 on sale right now. Go and get it. Fantastic tank. Very, very decent tank. Love it. Take it easy. Adios, muchachos.